What are you praying for in the Lord's Prayer when you pray, Hallowed be your name? Well, that's what we're going to look at in today's daily devotion. I'm Pastor John Blevins. It's September 25th, 2020, Friday. We're almost to the end of our week, almost to the beginning of a new week, which is the Lord's Day. Much to be excited about there. Well, let's hear from God as we uh, seek to answer this question. So we're going to turn in our Bibles to hear from Him as we turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. We read the section that Christ is answering the question. You know, Lord teaches to, to pray as His disciples ask this question. We're not going to read from that. Matthew 6, chapter 9. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And then we have the rest of the model prayer, the Lord's Prayer that follows that. You'll see down in the description, we have several study passages that are there that I hope you'll take time to read through and prayerfully reflect upon and fellowship with God as you have that opportunity. We're going to utilize our theology portion today to help us with our answer. Uh, our theology portion... We see all those study passages there. They're brought together. It gives us our two catechism questions uh, that we might better understand a breadth across the spectrum what the Bible's teaching when it comes to this question. Uh, as we ask, you know, when you're praying in the Lord's Prayer and you pray specifically, hallowed be your name, what exactly are you praying? Well, we're going to turn to Westminster Shorter Catechism. Westminster Shorter Catechism question 101 and it asks what do we pray for in the first petition in the first petition which is hallowed be your name we pray that god would enable us and others to glorify him in all that whereby he maketh himself known and that he would dispose all things to his own glory. His overarching aspect that God would work all things to His glory when we pray, hallowed be your name. Now we're going to turn to Westminster Larger Catechism, as you can imagine, just from their name. Shorter Catechism is shorter, larger is larger, it's more robust, there's a lot more there, there's a lot more study passages attached to that. So returning to Westminster Larger Catechism, Reading question 190, which asks, What do we pray for in the first petition? As we're in our little season, mini season here, dealing with the Lord's Prayer. What do we pray for in the Lord's Prayer in the first petition? Well, the answer in the first petition, which is, Hallowed be your name. Acknowledging the utter inability and indisposition that is in ourselves in all men to honor God aright. So we're in that prayer acknowledging the fact that we are unable to completely and rightly honor and praise God. We're not. not. Dear Saint, until you go to glory and you're in heaven and you are sinless, you will not be able to praise God as He rightly deserves, which in and of itself should remind us of how holy our God is. Well, it continues. We pray that God would, by His grace, enable and incline us and others to know, to acknowledge, and highly to esteem Him. So we're praying that God would help us and everyone else. Help us, Lord, by the power of Your Spirit as we come praying in, in faith Help us to rightly praise you, to praise his name, to esteem it, to give it the worth that it deserves. His name, his titles, his attributes, ordinances, word, which is the Bible, works, which is all the things that God is doing and done, and whatsoever he is pleased to make himself known by. So anything that God has revealed himself by, those are things that we are to worthily praise him and to esteem him and to glorify him 
in those things and we are not to discard or discredit or to ignore but instead to rightfully praise him and to glorify him in thought word and deed so in everything that we think we're to we're to glorify god and everything that we say we're to glorify God. And everything we do, we're to glorify God. Now, of course, we can't. We fail in that. We're not perfect. And praise God that we have His grace. Praise God for the Lord Jesus Christ, for the Holy Spirit that indwells us. Otherwise, there would be no way that we would be able to glorify our triune God, particularly our Heavenly Father, the way that He deserves even a little bit because we fail at that. But we are called to do that thought, word, and deed, or in everything, that he would prevent and remove atheism. So as we're hallowing God's name, esteeming God's name, giving it the worth that it deserves, praising him, in that prayer, just in that short petition, that first petition, we are asking that he would remove atheism, remove that foolishness of the heart amongst some in which they attempt to claim that God does not exist, even though all of creation cries out. The Bible tells us even though every person knows, knows that they are created, knows that they have a creator, but yet those who are in unrighteousness, they fight against that truth, as Romans 1 tells us, and they rebel against it, and they push harder and harder against it, trying to callous their heart uh, that they might be wantingly desiring to be blind to that truth. Preventing and removing ignorance, ignorance about God. Idolatry, which would be to give worth and praise to anything other than God. Profaneness, and whatsoever is dishonorable to Him. So anything that's dishonorable to God. And by His overruling providence, direct and dispose of all things to His own glory. That reminds us of Romans 8, 28, 29. As God says that He does all things for His own glory and for the benefit of His people, the church. It reminds us of the chief end of man. What is the purpose of man? Man's purpose is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. So as we say, hallowed be your name, Our Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. That petition is just that. God, glorify yourself in all things. Glorify yourself. Because that's right and that's good. Well, I hope that our few minutes together have encouraged you, also helped you to think a little bit about uh, your prayer life and even something that seems as simple as, Dear Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name even in that short little petition, that there's so much more packed into that petition dealing with the glory of our great God. So may He give us hearts that overflow with praise and worship. Our Father in heaven, O Lord, hallowed be Your name, for You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all glory. And we ask that it would be given to you and that you would make it clear to every living person that we might on this earth cry out in praises to you as the angelic host do, as the church triumphant, those who have gone before us are in heaven now, as they do. Lord, give us, give us a greater ability to praise your name. Oh Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's good to be with you for another devotion. Uh, Go ahead and hit that uh, like button if you were encouraged today, if the Lord blessed you. Share with friends and family. They might be able to also be encouraged through our devotions. And until we're together again, may our great God bless and keep you.